Hi, I'm Dr. Tanvir Janjua. I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon. Today I have Heather with me, who's been very kind to uh, volunteer for this video. I would like to demonstrate the use of a Restylane injection in two areas. The nasolabial grooves, also known as nasolabial folds, or smile lines, these grooves right here, and the tear trough, also known as nasojugal grooves, right here. And in Heather's case, along with the nasolabial groove, I will inject some Restylane in the upper lip skin part as well. And I will do it without any special numbing or nerve blocks and see if it is discomfortable, it's uncomfortable or not. If it is uncomfortable, then we can always use nerve blocks in the cheeks by going under the lips to completely numb it. So we'll first start with the tear troughs. I will start first with the right tear trough, which forms the junction between the lower lid and the cheek. We enter laterally and we go underneath the muscle and inject as we pull the needle back. We are done with the right side. I'm going to borrow your hand to just gently hold this Heather. Thank you. How bad was that? Not bad at all. Great. And as you can see, it is without any numbing cream or in numbing injection. The Restylane does have numbing medication in it, lidocaine mixed in, so the material does not sting. Just go back and say that again, the Restylane. Sure. <clears throat> the Restylane comes with lidocaine mixed in and takes the sting away of the material. And as we inject, the patient might feel the initial prick of the needle, mm -hmm. but there's no sting to the material itself. And it makes the procedure quite comfortable. While doing this, sometimes I have the patients look a little upwards to pronounce the tear trough, and that enables me to place the needle in the proper location. Great. So at this point we are done with the procedure and you can see that the tear troughs have been very nicely filled. And this method is a good way to hide the lower eyelid bags without surgery. And the material can last easily from six months and eight months to up to a year at times. And the injection is quick, there's no downtime involved and it is not that painful either. Would you agree with all that? I would, yes. Good, thank you. Yeah.